first uh, special award is uh, for Faisal Arifin Dipan, who was a publisher in Bangladesh. He had collaborated with many prominent writers of Bengali literature, as well as a number of eminent scholars and personalities. Dipan was brutally hacked to death inside his office at the hands of suspected religious extremists on 31st of October 2015. The Freedom to Publish Committee has decided to honor Faisal Arifin Dipan with a 2018 Prix Voltaire Special Award. And coming from Bangladesh, we have Rashia Rahman, who is a wife of Dipan and who is a CEO and publisher now. And also Angri Mehdi Hassan, who is a CEO and publisher and comes from the ba Bangladesh Publishers Association. Could you please come forward? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not a good speaker, but the lady in front of you is a storybook. You see, I'm wearing white sari. We Bangladeshi ladies usually wear, wear sari, but widows wear white sari. And black is the color of my sorrowness. The sari is carrying his signature and later he wrote to me when I was a medical student, I was uh, living in Bajitpur, far away from Dhaka. He was living in Dhaka. We were childhood friends. So he's not just my husband. He, he is still, he is a part of me. The day he, when he was murdered, he was wearing this wristwatch from that day. I'm wearing that, this wrist watch. Every moment I feel, he's holding my hand. I, I'm, my, my whole family is really grateful to IPA and all of you because of this award. This recognition is not only a recognition. It's, it's the best achievement that a family like ours can achieve. We had sacrificed our sunshine. We are in darkness. Still we are in darkness. But as Dipon left two kids, one is 16 and one is 14, I decided to go along with his publication house. I'm a medical person, I'm a physician, I'm not uh, a person in this sector, but it's my personal protest that I didn't want to stop Jagriti. From the very first day, I tried my best to go with Jagriti and for last two and a half years, Jagriti is running very well. In my country, thank you. In my country, we used to do a month long book fair in February. As the incident was happened in last, uh, last day of October, I had only three months to get prepared for that month-long Amore Kushe Boimala, the book fair. But that uh, very first year, I published 20 books, the next year 46, and this year, though I am away from the book fair, I, had, I have published 60 books. <laughs> beside, beside the publication, I realized Joe, that why my husband had to sacrifice his life because of the extremism which is growing like a virus it's just attacking us you know the 
real condition in Bangladesh is very vulnerable. The extremists are just so alarming. I just realized that if we, if I can make my next generation back to books, then this generation cannot be brainwashed. So I, with my friends and family, established a huge uh, bookshop cafe, which is uh, very first in Bangladesh, that is Diponpur, uh, land of Dipon. The everywhere, it is a 3,000 square feet bookshop cafe where we have kids' corner, we have a stage where we used to practice our cultural functions like opening of new books, recitation, we have uh, classical musics, etc. So that when my next generation is coming uh, to the Dipanpur, they are learning that we have to grow with our culture, not with the extremism. That's why um, here I want to give a message to all of you that let's stand together. Whole IPA would be together to protest against this extremism. Why should we give our life? We are, we are for betterment, we are for social welfare, but why we are sacrificing our life? If you see the faces of parents of Dipon, if you see the faces of his kids, you can't bear that pain. It's, it's like a war to me, and I'm a lonely fighter. I'm standing here with a broken heart, but I'm so grateful to you. You recognize this publisher? I'm so gra grateful to you. I hope the next days or the coming days would be ours. We won't have to sacrifice our life. No one can, no one can hatch our lives from us. We mourn, but we have strength. We have the strength to go forward with the spirit and the, and the ideology of Dipon. He worked his whole life. He was a bright student. He was a student of economics in Dhaka University, but, but he made his career in publishing because he knew that book is the only weapon through which we can give a better world. Uh, to lighten the situation, I want to sing a Tiger song. Shakatare oi kandi tse shakule shono shono pita Kaho kane kane shona prane prane mungolo varota Thank you so much.